Hello guys, this is me Dr. Kashan Kasi today here we were discussing about the ECG in which we have discussed the basics of ECG. Next we have also discussed about the ECG leads in which we have divided the leads into the limb leads and chest leads. Then finally we have also uh, covered the topic of ECG like the ECG paper in which we have discussed the small and large boxes in detail. If you want to see that video go and watch my previous videos on our ECG paper. Finally, we have also calculated the heart rate from a regular and irregular rhythm on an ECG strip. So if you want to know how the heart rate is calculated from a regular and irregular rhythm, go and watch my previous lectures. So today we are going to discuss about the P wave which is the first wave of the PQRS complex and this is the wave which is produced due to the atrial depolarization. In a simple word, you can say that this wave is produced due to the contraction of the part of a heart we call atria. So this P wave is usually upright in almost all the leads of the ECG except in AVR in which this is inverted. So starting from the basics of the P wave, this P wave is due to the atrial depolarization. I've already told you that the P wave is produced due to the contraction of the atria or atrial depolarization. Here are two points that is the duration and amplitude of the P wave. Duration is seen on a ECG paper in a horizontal pattern while the amplitude is seen in a vertical pattern. So normally the width or duration of P wave is equivalent to 0.12 second which means it is equal to 2.5 small square boxes. I have discussed the small and large boxes in detail in my previous lecture. So go and watch that previous video in order to understand the small and large square boxes duration. The second thing here is the amplitude which is measured vertically which is also equivalent to 2.5 millimeter that is equivalent to 2.5 small square boxes. This is equivalent to uh, or less than 1.5 millimeter in chest leads. I have discussed the leads of the ECG also. There are the leads which are connected on a body surface or on the chest of the body. This, these leads are called chest leads and there are also leads which are connected to the limbs. These leads are called limb leads. So in other leads it is equal to 2.5 millimeter but in chest leads normally it is equivalent to 1.5 millimeter or it is less than 1.5 millimeter. P wave is better seen in lead 2. Why? Why P wave is seen better in lead 2? Because the impulses are moving towards the lead 2. As the impulses are moving towards the lead 2, the deflection will be positive and this is better seen on a lead 2. So whenever the impulse is traveling away from the electrode or a lead, the impulse will be negative like in AVR. As it is moving towards the lead too, so the electrical activity will be positive on a ECG paper. P wave is upright in almost all the leads, mainly these leads, lead 1, lead 2 and AVF. But in AVR, I have also, uh, I have already told you that in AVR it is inverted because the impulse is moving away from the AVR. Here you can see this in detail. This is the AVR. This is the right atrium, left atrium. This is the right ventricle. This is the left ventricle. As the impulse of the heart is generated from the S node, then it travels towards the AV node and finally towards the apex of the heart. So this impulse is moving away from AVR. Whenever the impulse is moving away from the electrode, the impulse will be negative or electrical activity which is seen on an ECG paper will be negative. That is why P wave will be negative in AVR. Now come towards the normal morphology of the P wave. P wave will be rounded neither notched or peaked. It is rounded in morphology. Whenever you will see it on a ECG paper, it will be like this. One more thing is that this whole rounded P wave is divided further into two parts. First one is showing the right atrial depolarization 
while the second one this is the second part of the p wave which is showing the left atrial depolarization so this whole p wave rounded p wave is showing the depolarization or contraction of the atria of human heart the next thing here to remember is why there is no repolarization of the p wave or there is no sign of the p wave repolarization on a ecg paper whenever you will see the ecg paper there will be no repolarization spikes on a ecg paper of the p wave because the atrial repolarization is so minimal the amplitude is so minimal that cannot be recorded or there can be possibility that the qrs complex which is high amplitude complex is superimposing that atrial repolarization that's why the p wave or atrial repolarization cannot be seen on the ecg paper another important thing to remember here is the biphasic p wave p wave can be biphasic in v1 in v1 the p wave can be biphasic the biphasic means the p wave will be halfway above the isoelectric line and halfway below the isoelectric line like this this is the pattern of the biphasic p wave this is usually seen in left atrial enlargement when there is the hypertrophy of left atrium you can see the biphasic pattern of p wave like this this is the positive p wave and this is the negative p wave don't confuse this with the q wave so this is the biphasic p wave which is seen in a v1 lead on the ecg paper then comes the abnormalities the abnormalities of the p wave involve the absent p wave tall p wave uh, small p wave notched p wave there can be the variability in the p wave pattern and there can also be the inverted p wave all these are the abnormalities of p wave we will discuss the causes of these abnormalities one by one so next we are going to discuss the p wave abnormalities hope you like my video thank you very much for watching i'll see you in my next video